Johnny. I'm Bjorn. And this is Reality. Today on Reality, we're going to be taking a little trip to the land of opportunity. America, our big little brothers. Um, it's a very, it's a wide subject, America. They, they influence a lot of the world. They influence politics, trade, economics, and everything else. Obviously, we're going to be talking a little bit about Biden, a bit of his, uh, a bit about his withdrawal, uh, a few other things as well. And I'm Somebody sure. Somebody else said a withdrawal. <laughs> and I'm sure you all have your opinions on what America is to you. Now, America to me. It's always been a bit of a melding pot, obviously. It's made up of lots of different races. There's no such thing as, like, an American race, really. They're just a mix of different people. They've got no nationality as such or uh, native culture, apart from the Native Americans. Uh, all the rest are just made up of mixed countries. And that brings a lot of division when it comes to politics. And America, unlike Britain is about 20,000 times bigger and Britain Britain could fit into its like biggest state. So we got to consider that when looking at politics and how they do their jobs over there because it's very different, ain't it, Bjorn? You know a bit about the Yanks, don't you? Oh, I know a little bit about the Yanks. I don't, uh, don't pay much interest these days, you know. It, uh, uh, it's a load of fucking nonsense over there well, now, isn't it? I've always been into their presidents, looking into their presidents. I like some of them. Uh, oh, some of them, yeah, but this one. What uh, do you think about this one? Oh, oh pedo Joe. He's, the, he's probably the worst so far, definitely. He's disgraced us all with his Afghanistan withdrawal. He's, he's basically wasted hundreds and hundreds of lives since we went into that war and we were going to pull out safely under Trump and, and he just rushed it and spunked out the wall and fucked everything up. Now, we we look a bit cowardly now, don't we, to the world? I reckon, well, not us so much. We kind of kept our honour a bit because we actually were brave and we got everyone out that we needed to get out. We didn't just panic. But it, it kind of... It is, it is very bad on America. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? You can't put a... a seen our old man. He's clearly losing his mind, isn't he? Uh, he can't run the country. I think that's probably the plan, Bjorn. I reckon that they're, they're going to try and retire him eventually and say that he can't run for health reasons. And then, so that Kamala. Ah, uh, yeah. And then she'll get their, like, first female president. It's all working out. It's all panning out for him, really. And then watch, watch it change under her. She'll be like a clever bidden. She'll be rushing through every sort of weird policy. I, I always quite like George Bush. I think George Bush, that not the old one. The old one was very sinister. I mean, his stoner son, the little Bush. I quite liked him. He was a bit. He was a bit simple, but but he seemed like a nice chap, sort of bloke you could chill out with and have a beer with. Who was your favourite president, Bjorn? Out of all the like history, I think I think there's a few really. There's a few good characters there. It's got to be uh, FDR, mm. Roosevelt for sure. Uh, definitely an interesting one. Good one. He's the Second World War Prime Minister uh, President, isn't he? Oh, that's right. Oh yeah. Yanks were pretty brave at the end of the Second World War. Given that uh, we we definitely had their needed their help. We were getting a little bit. Uh, overpowered near the end, weren't we? Oh, he was, yeah. yeah. But they had it hard when they first got involved, didn't they? Yeah. They thought it would be easy to come over, wouldn't it? Well, the, the Nazis were highly organised. They managed to take a lot of Europe. They were very uh, efficient. As and the Japanese gave them a good spanking, weren't they? Oh, the Japanese, they were a different class altogether. Now, I've heard people say that if you got caught by the Japanese in the Second World War... You'd rather die. You'd rather die. A lot of them would rather be... My mum's uncle Your was mom? a Japanese prisoner of war. Oh, good God. He ate a cat. Oh, a cat. Poor bloke. That's had what, to, you know, to, to, that's just because like. you had just to eat something. That's, that's what it's like. I've seen that in the movies. They just treat you inhuman. Inhuman. 
That's why you need countries like us in America that bring order and civilization and not just let the world carry on in barbaric ways. I think um, there is the, the, the whole thing with COVID-19 as well. Oh. That, that's a very split subject. Oh. With the, the thing recently with people standing up saying they won't get vaccinated. You got the the rapper, the rapper ain't he, uh, Nicki Minaj speaking out. Oh, I like out. her. I like her. Speaking out, she told the world that no, she won't have the vaccine because her mate got swollen balls from it. And, I, and who wants swollen balls? Exactly. Yeah. Who wants swollen yeah. balls? It's, it's bad for fertility, and it can't be comfortable either. And there's there's so much going on. I mean, if you look at look at the current affairs now. What's, what's caught your eye recently, Bjorn? Nicki Minaj. Nicki, yeah, she would, wouldn't she? Nicki Minaj. I know that they're talking about the, the border as well. The border wall. Trump's wall. Oh, you mean caught my... Oh, OK, OK. In the news, in the news. Mm. What, oh, Bjorn? <laughs> oh, Bjorn. <laughs> Bjorn and his women. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's a lot going on. Um, a lot of Americans are disappointed in Joe Biden. They want the return of Trump because there's so much corruption well, under, don't we all want under, the his, return of Trump? under his administration. There's a, there's a lot of corruption. Um, I think I think in general it's probably the worst America's ever been since the, since they got rid of us, obviously. I mean, obviously, they would have done better if they would have got rid of the English. But, of course, of course. Yeah, it's the worst state ever. It's the worst state ever. And it, the people forget as well. We get um we get a lot of protests over here, like uh, political protests, but it's nowhere near what they get in America. They got people in America protesting all sorts because they got freedom of speech there. You see, that's what you get uh, like. The Black Lives Matter marches, Black Lives Matter marches, and they're allowed. And the and people, even the people like Ku Klux Klan, are allowed to march in America. I mean, it's mental. It's mental. If you if you you got so much freedom of speech, that it verges on people going face to face. What what did you think of America growing up as a small lad, Bjorn? I used to love America as a lad. We went on holiday there. It was fantastic, but with Biden now, now it is. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go there with my kids on holiday now. <laughs> I definitely don't trust him. No. Child sniffer. Hey. Child sniffer he is. And uh, we we've seen it, man, haven't we? Well, it's, it's proof, isn't it's it? It's a bit strange, isn't it? I mean, I'm not calling him. I don't know if he's a pedo or not. That's slander. But. He's a bit strange, he isn't he? He acts strange You, would, you wouldn't trust him around your kids, it's definitely all, not. like this, isn't he? Well, I'm not doing anything like that. Well, I suppose yeah. one of the big, another big and thing... And sniffing, isn't he? he goes... Another big thing I heard, creepy, I heard yeah. about recently with Joe Biden's administration... Well, it's not his administration, it was the guy who was under... Have you heard about that general who was working for Trump? No. General M Milley. He's uh, he basically he was one of America's top generals, right? Right. And because Trump got in power, he didn't like Trump getting in power, and he told all the other generals to ignore Trump's orders and go through him first if Trump asked them to do anything. Right. And he also, right? That's not even it. This that, that this, this bites the fucking biscuit, right? This takes the biscuit. He goes behind Trump's back, phones up the Chinese generals. And said, oh, yeah, I'm not really on Trump's side anyway. If we attack you, I'll let you know. Fuck you, now. That's what he fucking done. And now they're trying to get him court-martialed and rightly so. That's like treason, isn't it? Exactly. Yes. It is, isn't it? It's, it's, it's definitely... You know? You're going against your command of the commander-in-chief. And whoever is in that position at the time, like Biden is now, they, unfortunately, <laughs> are the commander-in-chief of the entire army in, in the US and that is basically that's coup material that's like the army taking power basically or one corrupt general <coughs> now <coughs> so, 
so much is linked with America and the world. They control a lot of things and they make the world tick a little bit. They've got, they, they're involved in most things, different wars throughout history. They've become a great power from what they started as. And through all their great presidents, it's led to this current president now. And it's, it's a travesty. When I think of America, or when I used to think of America, I thought of good things like cowboys, food, good food like burgers and pizzas, action movies, lots of cool things. But now I just think of like whiny liberals really, SJWs and woke people. There's still some good ones, there's still some good ones over there, not all Yanks have gone mental. But most of them, like in California and stuff, is like is like the liberal utopia. But they, well, extreme liberal utopia. What part of America did you visit, Bjorn, as a child? We went many places as a child in America. I always wanted to go there. Never did though. I I wanted to go to uh, Texas. Texas would be great. Texas looked really nice. And I like with the big cowboy hats they wear, the big giant ones. George Bush was a Texan. Yeah. He had his own ranch. He was a real life cowboy. And he used to chill in his ranch, smoking weed and riding horses. And he played golf. And then he had, who was after him? It was Obama, wasn't it? Think so. Obama, yeah, I think so. first black president, of course. Now I wasn't a major fan of Obama, but he was much better than what they got now. Definitely, at least he, he was a bit rational to some extent, and he wasn't senile. I think Donald Trump was very underrated. A lot of Americans liked him, really. The world press kind of gave him a bad rap. And it's like a lot of people, it's like it's like the Lotus Eaters said in our podcast the other day, I was watching how Donald Trump is banned from Twitter and yet they allow the Taliban on Twitter and they won't block their accounts. Now that just seems very wrong to me. Can you really, honestly, rationally say that Donald Trump is worse than the Taliban? Nah, you're just salty, ain't you? That's all it is, because he speaks truth. What do you think about Trump? I think he's brilliant, mate. He done some great things. I'll admit, him, really. I'll admit when he first come out, I was weary of him. I thought he was a bit dodgy. I didn't think he'd be that good. It's just because of how he talks. Exactly, but he proved himself. And I got, I spoke to a lot of Americans, white, black, Mexicans, and they all loved him. They said that he got more work, he, he lowered the taxes. He kept the immigration low, and it was better for the people. But they don't show you that in the news. You've got to actually talk to the American people to learn that. They, they try to discredit his good work in the news. And it's like the opposite. With with Biden, you get hit, Pete, the, the, the news are trying to make it out like he's some amazing president that's going to change the world, and he's progressive. But he ain't done fuck all, really, apart from get loads of people killed. It is 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 all backwards. Fucking sleepy Joe. Eh? Old fucking pedo Joe. He's he's he for a start he's too old to be president. I mean, Trump's quite old. I'll give you that. But at least he's sane. He got all this up here. He he still got but his marbles. But he's marble. smart, isn't he? See? And he's, he's smart. Up a, a self-made. Fucking entrepreneur, millionaire, isn't he? And he loves his country. So he knows how business works. He's your stereotypical eighties American, isn't he? Like that, the symbol of what American used to be. Like you can, I don't know. He's just to me, he is perfect. He's perfect for the position of president. Of course he is. He, he would have been. A, he, he just needed more time and less hate. Yeah, a lot of inside hate. You see. People trying to sabotage him. And they even tried blaming the, the, the riots at the White House on him, on his fans. And then you find out later on it was uh, and they're trying to say left-wing that. people among the crowd causing the problems. Exactly. Yeah. And now they're trying to say that, that that event was worse than 9-11, when loads of people died. That's, so, that's, that's very... That's, that's just disgusting and disrespectful. 
to yeah, everyone's maybe. families that died in 9-11. I think that's terrible. And you should be that's ashamed of yourself if you're spouting that. That's the sort of thing, people, that the extreme left are trying to spout out. And it, it, it's not even that we're, we're ranting about it like it's going to go away. It's not. It's getting indoctrinated into American schools and British schools and European schools and Australian schools, New Zealand schools, everywhere, except places like China and stuff because they're fascists and they, they teach their own stuff. They won't allow wokeness, which is kind of good in a way. I expect their people are a little bit happier in some ways. But it's like in Afghanistan. Recently, they, they said that the Taliban tore down a, a George Floyd memorial. Now, that's got no place being there anyway. That's just got gonna, no place being anywhere, that's, really. That's just going to rile up the people, isn't it? They're, what has that got to do with Afghanistan and its plight? Nothing. Nothing. It's just trying to introduce extra drama. Extra drama into other people's lives that probably never even heard of George Floyd. I don't think that most Afghan citizens would even care what was going on in America. Of course not. Let alone know what was going on. It's terrible, really. The world is upside down. Upside down, and that's reality. That is reality. And I'm glad that we could bring it Still to you. Oh, God, there, that fish in my teeth. I hope you only had fish fingers earlier. Food of the gods. They're a nice, quick, simple meal. You can have them in a sandwich on their own. Bit of ketchup. And it's, some vinegar. And some vinegar as well. Beautiful. Yeah, America's always been good for food. Big burgers. They've always been known to be on the portly side, aren't they, Americans? Slightly jolly. Um... Well, that man v food, fella. Oh, he liked food a bit much, didn't he? Yeah. Was that the man who ate, ate loads of McDonald's? He lived on... I Mc... think that's the same one. There was an American guy. He was told to stop, because basically you're about to fucking die. Yeah, he'd done an experiment, and he, he lived for like a week or two on McDonald's, only McDonald's, and his liver was going to shut down because of all the salt. But you got you can't blame him. Like, I bet the Americans make some cracking food, mind, don't they? Their McDonald's won't be like ours. It'll be like proper meat. Not all this vegan tofu shit. Like proper meat, slices, proper steaks and shit. I love a burger. Good burger. I bet Biden makes horrible burgers, though. You can imagine, if you, if you had, like, Donald Trump, George Bush, they'd be pretty good at, like, doing barbecues and stuff, I reckon, because they're manly men, ain't they? They like to socialise. They're one of the lads. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Come and have a beer with me. Come and have a beer with me. I'm Don. I'm George. But no, you look at Bidden, and if you went round his house, it'd be like he'd be sat in his armchair, and his wife would be doing the cooking. And he'd be like, "Oh, can you tell me? give him another burger? Give him another burger." And then he'd get up halfway through when he's meant to be talking to you and eating, and he'd just wander off. Yes, I see now he is. Go for a walk in his slippers and his, yeah, and his smoking jacket. I saw a video the other day. He, he was he was like, um, he was meant to be introducing his wife to this crowd and she was going to give a little speech and he was there next to her and then halfway through his speech, he go, he just he just looks at his watch and then he goes... And then he fucks look, off. And just walks off. And she's there and she's like... Oh, the she, leader of the free world. The leader of the free world is not a gentleman at all. Don't even support his wife. What sort of man does that say he is? He goes around sniffing the hair of youngsters. All these little incidents, they all add up, you know. And you can't blame it all on his senileness. And his racist comments. Racist comments. Earlier in his career, it seemed to be I, forgotten about I've now. I've heard a lot of hypocritical things about him in his early career. Look up early Joe Biden. Old clips of Joe Biden, his old policies... And you'll find that most of them are the opposite of what he's spouting now. Not very nice against black people oh, at all, black Joe Black people, Biden. he didn't like them. Oh, he didn't like them, old Joe. But now he does, because of black power, uh, black lives matter and stuff. He's got to support that. Just convenient for him, wasn't it? He needed to get the votes, wasn't he? But he don't want Trump coming back. 
So that concludes a bit of our little talk on America. We will come back to certain subjects because it is always relevant. The United States, they're always relevant. They've got their fingers in every little pie. And I'm sure there'll be a lot more to come from Biden. Uh, thanks for watching Reality. We are proud to bring you Reality from us to the people. Ain't we, Bjorn? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get some hair implants in my big forehead and I'm going to send the picture to Macy Gray. Ah, right. Then maybe, you know. Then maybe, yeah. He likes Macy Gray. He likes her a lot. Gorgeous. Thank you for watching Reality. We'll catch you on the next one.